Hello everyone and welcome back to my Pokemon Emerald uh, walkthrough. Um, oh, one real quick thing, let me show you my new Pokemon. It's Taylo. It's that random bird thing. It evolves into Swellow or Swallow, whatever it's called, at about level 20-ish. And that'll be useful because I can teach it fly later on if it's uh, necessary. And I can also use it against this random bug guy and uh, kick his ass. And supposedly his Pokemon are tough, but he's just walking mockery because he's going to have shit Pokemon, I can guarantee it. Jose. Oh, Wormpools, I knew it. I knew you'd have shit Pokemon Jose or Jose or whatever your name is supposed to be pronunciated. I cannot pronunciate very well, guys. When it comes to certain words, I, I tend to say them wrong and it annoys me. It annoys me at, at the highest level. But that's fine, that's a Ninkada. I'm very sure that's how you pronounce that Pokemon. Not an Insider, it's an Ninkada. You put a K on the C, I think. I'm, I'm not even going to go off on a topic about this because it'll make no sense and I'll confuse myself. But anyway, we win. That's all that matters. We defeated him and Wing Attack is a great move. He's only just learned that. I caught him at about level 6 and I grinded him up to 13 just for you guys real quick. And it didn't take me more than 5-10 minutes to do. It was quite an easy grind for me because I played at quite a fast speed. But anyway, I want this Pokeball, please. It's a Repel. That's great. I'll add that to my repel -y collection. New! No! No, I should have used it. I should have used it before I turned around and it says Swellow. No, it's a Taylo. Swellow's the evolved form. I always get mixed up. Watch this. I'll show you the difference between eight levels. It'll be a one shot. I guarantee it. Bang. I guess Taylo doesn't have the greatest defense in the world. Uh, when I first encountered it, I, um, my, my Splashy Washy, or whatever his name is, Splash, I used, um, I used a tackle on it and I killed it instantly. And I was like, no, what have I done? Hello, youngster kid. There's a lot of trainers around here for some reason. It's a Dendend, Dendend, Dende, it's a Dendend up here, I'm bored so can we battle, sure thing, I tried to like stab you from behind but you turned around at the last second, actually I tried to steal your, your cap actually, your hat, quite like it, I have white hair, that's pretty cool, shroomish, for once I'm happy that I uh, don't have to send out my splash because it would have been really irritating because it would have used absorb and paralyze me and stuff and it's really, really annoying when that happens. I'm sure this game's gonna have like a grass trainer somewhere uh, eventually, or well, a grass gym, I mean. So I'm quite happy that I've got this Taylo now because I can just kill all these annoying grass Pokemon that I encounter early on, and um, you know just kick their asses. And I know this game is quite high on the grass and poison type Pokemon, like it really is. It's super high on them when you go through roots and stuff. Uh, but that's fine because I can use my um, my splash against certain gyms and stuff, and um, you know those more tougher trainers that won't have these grass Pokemon, so I'm not worried. Oh no, it's a hiker, I should have swapped out to Splash. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Are you seriously going to hike over the tunnel? That is pretty badass. That really is cool. It's a shame you're so big, uh, it might be quite hard for you. Geodude, it's only level 8, that's the same level as the uh, people in the gym. Um, okay, what I'm going to do then is I will swap out to Splash, and we will definitely not use Splash. The move, not, not the Pokemon. <laughs> We will use water gun and we'll kill this thing in one shot. Ah, it's going to use defense call. Oh, what a waste, seriously. The biggest waste of the move you could have ever done. You could have tried for something physical. At least didn't done some damage to me. So I would, I would have remembered later on, like, ah, damn you, Geodude, for doing three damage to me or whatever. But, you know, you know that was just really easy. Super duper easy yet again. And there we go. Didn't really get much experience, really. <laughs> oh, he's out of breath. Oh, man. Made him tired. That was the quickest battle I've had all day, and he's, he's, oh wait, let me swap out, because there's another hiker guy for some reason. So we'll get my, get my splash out, and we'll face this guy. Oh, there's like a random old guy in the, uh, in the top right corner staring at the wall. We'll rock you hard. I like the pun there. You're actually quite a, quite a character. I like it. Actually, I just noticed these hikers don't have beards. On the older games, they had like big, big fluffy beards, and I was always jealous of them. But not anymore, they're clean shaven. I guess it's the new trend. I'm missing out. But, well, at least the Pokemon are still the same with them. Geodudes and maybe Onyxes. Maybe later on they'll have Onyxes. That's when they get a bit tougher. Geodudes is the base Pokemon. It's like, I'm a weak hiker. I just use Geodudes. And Zubats, probably. They'll probably have Zubats if I go in a cave. Always those bats. Don't get me wrong, Zubat's great. He was fantastic in my uh, Soul Silver walkthrough because he evolved into Crobat, and Crobat was amazing throughout the entire series, right on, up until I faced Red, and then he was kind of useless because <laughs> Red's Pokemon team was just devastatingly high leveled, and uh, I managed to scrape through without using Crobat. Hello. Roar! Oh, he's like a, it's like a dog. What's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. 
That tunnel filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises, they could have, have caused an uproar. Oh, okay. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for the tunneling, and that's why you use your hands. I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and start the Pokemon into an uproar. That's actually quite worrying, dude, it really is. Hello? Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an old, old thug. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you took your Pico? What? He's out of order. I'm going to take that Pokeball before I go in the cave. Hello? An X special. I guess that would raise my special attack uh, during the battle. Anyway, let's go in the cave. Let's hope I don't need Flash or something. I shouldn't, because uh, I haven't been given it yet. Ah, oh, dear me. It's really foggy. This is going to be annoying. Now, first things first. I'm going to need a repel, and then I'm going to make sure I have Swamp put out. Now, where are my repels? There they are, 11 of them. Just going to make this go a bit faster. That's the plan, so let's, let's go in ahead. Oh, there he is. Didn't even need to use that repel if he's only that far in. Might have been a waste in the end. But at least I got myself a Pokeball out of it. What are you... What are you coming? Come and get some, then. Okay, I'm, I'm coming right towards you. Hello. Ah, it's Pico, no! Grah, keyhole it all. Keyhole, is that a word? That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. <laughs> and to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. You want to battle me? Did I battle you earlier and beat you? Because you had a level, was it 8 or level 9 Poochina? Yeah, I, re I remember that thug guy. Is it, is it the same thing? Oh look, it's two levels higher. Congratulations, you've barely improved. Whereas I have evolved and got two Pokemon. You don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance whatsoever. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this thug will stop being a thug by now. Hopefully I'll just run away and give up. Just leave the criminal organization. My career in crime comes to a dead end. Yay, I think he's going to quit his job and you know go work at, I don't know, McDonald's or something. Pokemon McDonald's, that'd be nice. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a sick and easy job to pull. It, it, it was quite easy, really. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. You want it back that badly, take it. You know, you didn't even need to mention it to me and then just run away and I would have done nothing because you've run quite fast. Like in that in that forest, you ran really fast and I couldn't catch up to you. That's all you had to do, man. Uh, I put it in my key items pocket. See, look how fast he runs. All he had to do was that in the opposite direction and I would have been screwed. Unless it actually is a dead end tunnel. I'm glad to see you're safe. Oh, you're gonna come give me something, Mr. Briny? Uh, I sincerely thank you. Oh, just give me give me a HM or something. You can usually find me in my cottage uh, by the sea near Petal. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, should make our way home. All right, it looks like I have to backtrack a bit, and then if that's the case, um, I think I don't think this cave leads to anywhere. No, there's rocks in the way. Good news, I used that repel. I would have encountered at least like five Pokemon by now because the encounter rate is super duper high for some reason. Oh, you've decided to move out of the way. Oh, you're not going to give me that speech again, are you? Oh, okay, he's, he's high-tailed. I can go back to the digging. Now, I'm not even going to go and see him in the cottage. Like, he might give me something cool and all, but I'm just going to I'm just gonna go in here. Hello. To get to Verdendorf without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea to Duford. Uh, it's quite difficult when um, I don't have surf. Oh, I guess the tunnel's not up and running, so it looks like I do have to backtrack after all. So the plan is then, this repel is really being useful until it wore off. Uh, the plan is to run through this grass and encounter random Pokemon. <laughs> now it's to backtrack back to the random place and see what that old guy has to give me. He might give me Rock Smash maybe so I can get through the tunnel or something. Or maybe, I'll, maybe it cuts, maybe there'll be a random tree I couldn't get past earlier and it'll allow me to um, do stuff. So, oh, this guy might give me something too. How did it go, the Devon Goods? You did it! I'm a great trainer. As my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Rock Smash would have been 20 times more useful, guy, but whatever, I'll take it. Please come with me. Teleport technique. That's what Abra uses. This is the corporation's third floor. Our president is on this floor. I can't tell you how much I'm grateful. By the way, that parcel you got back for us, could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. It sure would be, dude. So, uh, could I count on you? Yeah, sure. That's cool. That is super cool. Just give me an Ultra Ball next time and uh, maybe a Master Ball. Maybe you can. the balls can get more expensive. Our uh, president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Oh, hello, president. Yeah, he's a cool president. He has a nice hat and a beard. I'm Mr. Stone. Oh, you don't get stoned, do you? The president of the Devon Corporation. I just um, just got word about you. You saved our staff twice. I'm an amazing person, supposedly. 
Uh, yeah, that's right. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen. So, a letter, a parcel, and I gotta go see that guy for something. Uh, so I'd never be so cheap to ask a favour. That's why I want you to have this. That's actually pretty cool, Pokenab. It's a very good device. Uh, for short, it's a indispensable for any trainer on an adventure. It's a map, and I can see locations and stuff. Oh, there it is. Magma. I thought it was called Nova. <laughs> see, I'm weird. Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up before you go on your way. Sweet, he's actually healing my team as well. I am not complaining whatsoever. Well then, Yummy, go without caution and care. Oh, with caution. If I went without caution, I'd be a bit of an idiot. So that was kind of cool. A bit of a speech. Random scientist people uh, having a little talk. They're all twins. They're like six truplets. If that's a word. Obviously, that's not a word. Quin truplets. I don't know what comes after Quin. Quin. Quad. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's enough of that. Well, what do you want, dude? I've been developing an added feature of the Pokenav, and you're going to give me it. Thank you. There you go, yummy. I added a new feature. It's called Match Call. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokenav. And he should be registered. Oh, do I have to Do I have to call him, dude? You're forcing me to call the president? You know, he's, a, he's a busy man. I don't think he really wants me to call him. Um, but whatever. Uh, cancel. Yeah, cool. Oh, yummy. Since you called, the Pokenav must be working properly. Uh, they will be registered. You seem quite happy. Okay, thank you, dude. You're looking down your window at me? How dare you, you weird guy. Okay, I'd better get back to work. Goodbye. Wow, there was a lot of talking there that time, guys. Sorry about all that. Now, oh, it seems I can go north, which is cool. I couldn't go north before. Um, so this is a new new route. Hello. Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You never know when a wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of surprises. Ah, uh, look, there's a Pokeball over there, guys. I'm going to quickly grab that. Try to hide out of my sight, but Pokeballs, you cannot hide from the mash. Super Potion, that's good. It's very good. I think I've got three or four of those now, so that could always be useful later on if I get in a bit of a bit of a pickle. <laughs> I love that word, pickle. Um, okay, I'll have to go right, and actually it doesn't look like I can go past this part, guys. It seems that the only way is surf or a different route, so I actually do have to backtrack, unfortunately, um, down south again. And go see that guy with that seagull so I can get, hopefully, Rock Smash. Hello, May. I didn't know you was there. Hi, Yummy. You had a match call feature put on your Pokemon. Let's register each other so we can con contact one another. Sure thing. <laughs> I got a phone number. This is great. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Brian in Petalwood Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. Mine's working great. How about a little battle? Sure thing. We'll have a quick battle. All right, well, we'll have a quick battle with May, and then we'll call it a part, I guess. Um, she she should be a little tough. Well, tougher than anybody I've faced up to this point. I'd expect level 10s and 12, maybe. Oh, 13. That's actually pretty good. But that's fine. I am a level 18, so I have a huge advantage here when you think about it. Uh, tackle did more than half. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to kill it now. Growl does deduct my attack, but I did a lot of damage. Let's see. Ah, it's going to live. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what her... Oh, it's Trico, isn't it? It's the uh, grass thing. Good news is I have um, that bird. That random black bird thing. I, it's Talo. I think it's called Talo or Talo. Trico. All right. It's cool. Da -da -da, Talo. I thought so. I always think of Swallow because that's what it evolves into and uh, certain stuffs. <laughs> level 14. Trico is level 15, I guess? Yeah, it's obvious. When they send out a level 13, they always send out a 15 after. It's always the little... Little repetition of things. Man, that was easy. God, this is this is super easy. I'm having an easy time. I said I said the word easy three or four times in two sentences. That's crazy. Yikes, you're better than I expected. Oh, you actually have quite a lot of money. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briney, who I just passed, you just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Briney was once a revered seafarer. Cheers for that. All right, guys, then. Uh, in the next part, we're going to have to go back to see Mr. Briny, or was it, was, yeah, Mr. Briny his name was, and get the item off him, and then we'll make our way further on in our adventure. So thank you for watching, everyone, and see you all next time.